Okay, we are here today to talk to Tommy Ilyash. He's from Slovenia and he has a quite an interesting HPC company. I've seen many computers in many sites. I saw one in a church. I saw one on the first floor uh, because uh, because of the flooding risks. But he's got one uh, in the stable. Well, actually, in the cellars of a stable. He told me about it. Uh, yes. So uh, we put our uh, high performance computing center into the very nice uh, rural environment in Karst, in, in uh, a south western part of Slovenia. We have this in a very interesting place, place and also uh, it's a very interesting place when all the IT um, professionals can come and, and uh, uh, work in a very different environment they are used to. And I, I heard that you also had special security guards at night. Some very big brown security guards called bears. Is that true? <laughs> yeah, bears are not exactly there, but uh, you know, Slovenia it's, uh, it has full of bears. We, yeah. we, we export them also. And uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's security. It's, if, if you park uh, near to our HPC center, at least one grandmother will call us that something is going on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, can you tell a little bit about uh, the, the machines that are there and who is using them? Uh, well, the, the machine is like 10 teraflops, IBM, iDataFlex, um, with InfiniBand uh, 40, uh, 4 uh, quad speed InfiniBand, and so on. We are uh, delivering more than just HPC mm -hmm. infrastructure, we want to deliver services around HPC, which includes uh, parallelization and optimization of the code, but also mathematical modeling, uh, mathematical advanced uh, statistics, and so on. So in this way we help research groups from various uh, vertical niches like biotechnology, maybe astrophysics, uh, finance sector and so on. We are helping them to um, build good mathematical models and then uh, to, uh, we, we deliver the results from uh, com computing. So they don't have to bother about these um, things which are, they are not professionals in. We have some well-known customers as uh, Berkeley, uh, University of Berkeley in California, Astrophysics de Department, the Univers University of Zurich, uh, also uh, Chicago University uh, for Department of Robotics, and uh, of course lots of Slovenian uh, 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 customers like Institute Josef Stefan, University of Ljubljana, University of Copper and so on. We are working a lot with uh, cross-border because our HPC center is right on the border with mm -hmm. Italy. So we work a lot uh, with the University of Trieste, uh, Synchrotron uh, Area Science Park, uh, we have Synchrotron in, in Trieste too, and uh, other industry uh, which is there, like Fincantieri and others. So the people in Berkeley, for instance, are they, how are you helping them? Are you going so there? We do it remotely and we just help them. They're very good in what they do. So mm -hmm. we are just helping them some uh, optimization of the code and uh, we deliver a bit. Uh, and we do, what we do is 3D animation also on the top of their uh, simulations. So we can do some uh, better imaging because there is purely theoretical physics. How do, do you see that you fit into the European landscape of HPC and supercomputing providers? On European scale, we are, we are very small, like 10, 15 teraflops is nothing. We are now increasing our, our center uh, with GPUs to 50 teraflops, but mm -hmm. still we are very small. We could be someday uh, uh, like praise center uh, within the praise project. Uh, tier 2 maybe, regional or cross-border center, but I think we can be very good in like a competence center in, in, in some fields like bioinformatics, uh, maybe materials also and so So what we want to do and it's our mission to, to grow on, on this mycelium, how do you call it, uh, to grow mushrooms like spin-off companies from various fields. Yeah. I, I think HPC is a kind of uh, background or the, the it's basis for other other uh, uh, for other companies to grow. So you have you know if you have a good HPC center with a lot of knowledge, a lot of small companies can grow on this in various like finance, uh, 
sector, I don't know, uh, pharmaceutical sector. And so yeah, so, so you're saying it's the competence that's important and it brings value. Of course. And running systems, everybody can do that. I think in the future we will borrow some computational power from where, from other centers. We don't need to buy everything for us, but uh, you have to have something which, uh, you know, you, you, you learn. Uh, you have to have something of your own. What do you see your company say in about five years from now? Where? I hope we'll be involved at least in 10 spin-offs in very interesting fields mm -hmm. uh, with high added value. And uh, I hope we'll, we'll become a very important uh, regional or European competence center in HPC. Um, I believe in this because I, I see this field very uh, fast growing and uh, there are lots of opportunities, no, not only in, in, in science, I mean in science point of view, but also in, in entrepreneurs' uh, um, field, like there are lots of possibilities, lots of added value. Mm -hmm. So we don't have to compete with, I don't know, uh, low-cost uh, Chinese products, uh, we, we can compete with high added value products, which are and the difference between you know, the low product and the high is just the high performance computing so with, with a lot of uh, um, with uh, simulations and so on you can make uh, the difference yeah okay Th thanks a lot for this interview thank you very much